sounds like shit over there. How is it going guys? Drew Peacock here back with another video and I've been getting a lot of DMs like, hey Drew, we don't really see you go to car meets anymore. You never really post or make videos at car meets and uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and just capture in video why I don't go to California car meets anymore and you guys are gonna see it's just a big waste of time. It's not that I don't like car meets, it's that just the car meets nowadays just literally include probably 90% of just normal ass traffic and then 10% no, 5% of just garbage builds and then another 5% or t even less than that of decent builds like a 2% maybe maybe it's more of like a I don't know 8% garbage 2% good it's pretty bad by no means do I think that I have the nicest car out there there's way nicer cars in mine way faster cars by no way do I think that I have the coolest cars out there but it's just SoCal car meets just don't seem to bring out <laughs> those cool cars. They just seem to bring out uh, the run of the mill, lowered, if that, maybe aftermarket wheels. 99% of the time it's JNCs. It's just like, I'm not really getting a whole lot of value by going out to these meets and risking getting pulled over by police because they usually turn ratchet and usually the cops come and usually they're going to go and pick on the cars that stand out. And usually that doesn't end well for me. So today I thought it'd be fun to just go to a car meet and show you guys just kind of why I don't go too much anymore. So uh, we'll be taking the Supra later tonight. Really quickly though, I just want to give you guys a little, I don't know, there's like some drama going on with the WRX. So pretty much when I went and test drove the car, it had some squeaky brakes and the sales rep was there and even he said, he's like, hey man, if these squeaky brakes don't go away, come back it's covered under our 90 day like limited warranty and shit pretty much if anything breaks within the first 90 days carmax will cover it i'm like cool noise never went away i went down there and uh they told me they will not touch the vehicle because i put wheels on the car they said that even though the noise was there from day one they won't touch the vehicle because i put wheels on the car they said the wheels can affect braking now i would understand if i put like some 22s on the car with some donk tires or something or something ridiculous like that but some sport wheels with a slightly wider tire i don't know if that really like adds up at least in my mind it doesn't especially since the noise was there from day one like i don't know um so they won't touch the car uh so it's at carmax right now so we will be taking the super tonight let me know if that makes sense to you guys it's just it's really weird that they won't touch the car like to me that just i don't know it seems like just a cheap cop out so they don't have to repair it but <laughs> let me know um yeah, let's go ahead and wait till it gets dark. We'll meet up with the man himself, no lift shift, and then we will go. All right, I know you guys can't see shit, but let's turn her on. I love the Supra because it's just like an all around good car. Like, not only does it look cool, not only is it fast, but like it's not super loud or obnoxious either. So I can like safely get in and out of my neighborhood without pissing off people, which is kind of cool. You know, you can't really do that with the McLaren or the Mustang. So for those reasons, it's higher on the list of what I enjoy driving. All right, topping off with some E85. Mammy, how would you describe SoCal car meets? Ryan, no lift shit. The man I'm himself. Famous. <laughs> no lift shit. He is here. Okay, but how would you describe car meets? Sorry. Um, they're shit. Yeah. I hate going to them now. Um, they're the most boring, most ratchet, most toxic. What kind of cars do you see in SoCal? They're all like all the cars in SoCal have bead locks when they're uh, <laughs> when they're all stopped. When they're all stopped. Let's see how many we see today. We'll go. We'll, we'll go have some fun. The man himself. What guy? How's that Watt box install? Uh, fine. How would you rate your Flock Motorsports experience? Well, if you had better soldering equipment. <laughs> I don't, uh, you know what, it wasn't my tools. I was using someone else's tools. So I blame the equipment that I had to work with. And it wasn't your equipment. So it wasn't mine. We'll just throw it out there. I had to go back out there and uh, redo it all. It. All right, Brian. How would you describe SoCal car um, Like one sentence. Ratchet. Ra okay, besides Ratchet, what kind of cars do you see? No offense to the people that I just met uh, that came up to me. Um, a bunch of 350Zs. Oh, great. <laughs> uh, 370Zs. Highly um, modified or? No, just cheaply lowered, modified. Probably uh, cut springs, uh, broken classy. hearts. 
uh -huh. all around. Perfect. Uh, loud trumpets. Very exciting stuff, right? Exactly. Exactly. All right. Well, I'm sure um, we'll see a lot of that shit tonight. So possibly. A lot of people at drag slicks, uh, not boosted. <laughs> <laughs> that was you for a couple months, but you were ordering your whip. It was already on it the way. It was already in the yeah. way. So. so that's fine. So you you could show the confirmation email right. showing that it was on the way. So yeah. you you were just ready, that's all. All right, just pulled up, and so far this lot is full of 90% just regular-ass traffic. And I know you might think, well, it might just be regular-ass traffic. Well, uh, based on what we're seeing cruise by, I don't think so. I think that you guys are gonna, this is gonna be a really good example of why I don't really do car mates anymore. So uh, we're waiting for Brian to park. He got lost, so I'm waiting for him, and then we'll walk around. All right, we were able to get Brian next to me. I mean, someone here has got to show off some serious power. So we got the Whipple Coyote and the single turbo Jay-Z. So finally, at least, at least for the youngins, they can see something other than just like garbage, you know? Slicks on a scat pack. Yeah, something cool, you know? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna walk around. Let's take a look what the fine streets of SoCal has to offer. Some stuff. All right, so here's the line. Let's see what we got. We got the the Hell Kitty, the Hell Kitty first mod, purple headlights. We got uh, the headlight mod and the reps on the G37 sedan. We have oh, Mammy likes the color. She says we have a pink, purple, lavender um, GT86. The wheels are interesting. Another GT86. Another GT86. Some of these aren't bad. Like, this GT86 doesn't look that bad, personally. I don't, I don't mind it. I love it. The wheels look sick. And then we have a guy that just loves showing everyone that he's got a 420 credit score. He's paying $1,500 a month. Stock Hellcat. Then we got another 392. I'm going to the camera. Did you like about the, to get ratchet. Did you like the Stock Hellcat? On slicks? On slicks too. I'm telling you, man. That's what I said. I mean, at least it was a Hellcat, though. At I least, will say. I mean, he needs to hook in that anchor. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. As if he doesn't have enough, you know, weight in that thing to keep him planted already. You know? Right. So, exactly. But all right, maybe we'll, we'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe he does digs on the weekends or something. Okay. So let's let's continue this uh, route. Let's see what we got. We got a NA Miata, whatever. Rip. Yeah, I know. R.I.P. Brian's NA Miata. It'll be back in a different shell, I guess. So that'll be cool. This is like the most normal ass traffic lane I think we've seen so far. Like this is so uneventful. Like, I, I, I don't know. Like I can't tell if this guy came to the meet or he just came to get some food. Oh no, he came to the meet. He was blasting the jams. Yeah, we got some more regular traffic. Some more regular traffic. A guy pulled in head first. This car sounds like garbage. You think he bought a rep exhaust too? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> you want to wrap the Subi that lavender color? Actually, I mean, I don't care. Clean. I don't mind the color. I mean, it is like more of your car. Well, let's go look at it closer. Broken window. Still got to pull up to the meat. Can't miss one. Oh, that's 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 clean. And the curb the wheels. Hella fucking fresh. <laughs> So you want to wrap the Subi that color? I mean, it's, it's almost identical. It's not an ugly person. Never mind. No, I like the color. I actually like it. I actually like the color. He's got some ESRs on it. I like it. He's got some taste. Good wheel choice. Right. Very good wheel choice. They're not reps. <laughs> <laughs> what about the Battleship Gray on the uh, M3? I like that as well. That's a good, that's a good color choice. I've never done gray before. I do yeah. a lighter gray. I think that's more like a Battleship now, or is that Nardo? It's pretty similar. I don't know. I know you like like neutral tones. That's why. Enough of that though. Let's keep looking at the cars. Hey yo, Honda gang. You think it's K20 song? That color is all over you. It's the same color. It's well kept. <laughs> it's, I guarantee it's a respray. Oh, you should have them respray it. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that dog kind of caked up though. This is really the best thing here. Like, there is nothing else that uh, 
can top that. I am more entertained watching that than looking at any of these cars. Just keep on following it. I, you know what? <laughs> 10 minutes of that? Let's do it. Why don't you come to car meets anymore? Why don't you come, Drew? They're always banging. They're always fire, bro. Yeah, I don't know about that one. Don't know about that one. And he got a dumbass on a Grom just making noise for no reason. It's like, bro, it's a Grom. Shut your ass up. Where's your helmet? He's carrying it right there. Oh, he stole the bike. Is it a gold Lambo? You vomited inside? I think so. It's like playing Midnight Club or GTA all over again. I mean, when I was like 12, yeah, that was okay, but now... We can't even see it. I'll give him the hit and I'll still take him. I think you'll give him the hit and you'll still... Oh, I don't know, actually. You already lost the one. Yeah, but that was a performance so. Yeah, <laughs> this guy, This guy can afford the gold chrome wrap, but he can't afford a, afford a performance. So... Does it even have carbon ceramics? No. Not even carbon ceramics. And VF engineering tunes are dog shit, so I, I don't know about all that. Sick! We gotta go find where he parks. We gotta go look at that car. You know, when you first buy a Lambo, the first thing you gotta do is wrap it gold. Right. And if it doesn't have Lambo doors, you bought the wrong one. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we got a couple cars with our hoods popped. We gotta do a hood check. We got the 370. First thing that catches my eye is the PC lighting setup. And then we got what? Intakes? All right, that's pretty cool. We got some intakes on it. Uh, wheels? No, negative on the wheels. Negative on the wheels. Oh, more mood lighting inside. Very cool. Looks like an exhaust setup. Clean Nismo, I like it. Needs some wheels, needs better fitment, and uh, maybe a little bit more power, but not a bad start. Next to the 370, we got some underglow on the Dodge Stealth and the most obnoxious sounding BMW ever. Underneath the hood, doesn't look modified. It's actually weird. Oh, it's just so dark. I can't even see the intake. Nice prop rod. The one by one is very solid. Uh, Neon is the first mod, of course, because uh, it gets the most amount of horsepower and the most amount of attention for the cheapest amount of money. So, super solid. All right, we got the world's quietest McLaren might be the new hybrid 570. I'm standing, what, five feet from it, 10 feet from it, and I could barely hear it? That is, need some more mods. Go to Voodoo. I love SoCal car meets. It just brings out the best cars. Like, where else can I see something like this? Car ain't been washed in about six months. Bring it out. Now this is fucking fresh. This has to have the most horsepower because, I mean, check it out. We got not one, not two, but three forms of towing on the front of this Honda Civic. This is fucking bad as shit. Look at this bad boy. The red spray painted grill, the scratch marks on it. Oh my God, the wheels, the wing. We gotta get a better view of that wing. One, two, three. Oh, and the canards. I completely missed the canards. Completely missed that. The wing is fresh. Oh yeah, no, ready for the track. It's probably going this weekend. And the fake fender vents, oh my god. This is actually kind of cool. You got a VF supercharged M3. And then, uh, you ruin it with the drop top. I don't know. It is a DCT though, so it probably moves pretty good. And I mean, it's a pretty clean car. It's just the drop top, at least it is a hard top drop top. These are hard tops, right? Hard top drop tops? So at least it doesn't look that bad, but. All right, so for this lane, we're gonna do an unedited just walkthrough. This is how 90% of car meets are in SoCal. So just check it out. All right, first couple cars. We got the EG with the air brake. We got the uh, 5.0 bone stock. We got a Camry and a, what is it a G8 or a GTO? It is a GTO. Other side, Camry squad. Camry squad. Well, you got one, two, three, four Camrys. Very cool. We got the Lexuses. Another Camry. More Camrys right here. Sorry, man. You got to move your head out of the way. Uh, we got some super sick Kia over here with the toe strap hanging off the front. The toe strap really just ties the build all together. Uh, we got the Corolla on Conse wheels with the Decepticon badge, EcoBoost, old 5.0 old looks old i should say and then the other side regular 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 scat pack 
regular regular i mean they're probably actually just trying to leave but pretty impressive car meet right mammy pretty fun what do you think it's pretty darn exciting i can't see fucking jack shit because of this numb nuts light setup he's probably draining the shit out of his battery right now we got an actual cool car rolling through wow i think this is the first car i'm actually excited to see it sounds nice oh it sounds real nice i mean a little unnecessary on the rev but sounds good I, at least it does sound good compared to everything else we've heard brian how does that sound i give it a 10 out of 10. <laughs> yeah compared to like this this stuff i don't know I, i'd much rather see that It just sounds like a vacuum cleaner. How does that sound crazier than the fucking V8? Auto, it's not passing past 4K RPM. Oh, it's an auto. It says Z01, but I don't hear no supercharger. It's badge, it's a badge. You can tell? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if you knew something. You used to sell them. Not that year. I mean, I'm sure you saw the uh, used one. I mean, yeah. I looked at one that got the wheels stolen off of the lot. <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember that. Oh, this is sick. Brian, move out of the shop. This shit is badass. This shit is bad fucking ass. Holy crap. Look at this. He's even got the, the dance lights on it, ready to go. The red wheels, once again, tie it all together. Just right, right. complete the build. It goes good with the red hood. For once, a boat that actually looks like it'll actually uh, move pretty good. We got the 17-inch bead locks. We got the skinnies up front. I like it. Tasteful. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. Let's just pray it's still not under warranty. Right, right. But then again, CarMax will have you know that changing a wheel is voids a warranty. So, <laughs> I don't know. Fun. This thing's chopping pretty good. The forged carbon wrap kind of fucking sucks ass, but the car itself sounds good. I mean, for the year of car, that paint looks immaculate. It does. No, it's very clean. I just don't like the forged carbon wrap. That's, right. That's my only issue. Brian, question, okay? Yeah. If you had a Hyundai Genesis, don't look at it, don't look at it. If you had a Hyundai Genesis, what would be your first mod? Carbon <laughs> fiber wrap on the hood and roof, star stickers, or a tow hook? Uh, I gotta go with that tow hook. <laughs> well, he's got all three. I found quite the car for you. With the, uh, my banner of the crew that I don't represent. Oh, the, the, the street vandals. Street vandals. It's a very scary looking car there. It's kind of intimidating. <laughs> Let's go get a closer look. We got the tow hook. We got the carbon fiber wrap. We got the uh, colorful headlight wrap. Still on stock wheels. And then going around. Carbon fiber wrapped fuel door, plastic louvers, drippy stickers. Yeah, I don't know about all that. So there's someone trying to compensate by making all the noise in the world. It, dude, that car is so abused. Oh, like a cool GTR. That, that, that car is so abused. I feel bad for it, but there is a sick GTR right here. Mammy, look to your right, your favorite. Mammy, look to your right. Oh no, did he wrap the hood in forged carbon? Oh hell no. Nah. Fuck that. Oh, he's gonna park right here. Woo! Yeah, wait, so Homeboy has a real carbon trunk and then wrapped his hood? Something don't add up. He didn't have enough money to complete the hood. I mean, it looks like an actual aftermarket hood. Yeah, but it's probably still carbon. I mean, the wrap, definitely not normal. Why is he, carbon. yeah, he doesn't know how to park either. He don't got the back camera. Yeah, that hood kills it. And the yellow ass headlights, that shit's straight from 2009. Shit's got a fucked up trance probably too. It sounds like shit over there. That sounds like fucking ass. You, you, 
never guess it's a piece of shit Genesis. Ah, two point on turbo though. It's very cool, very cool indeed. All right, so we're deciding to take off. Uh, the meat's becoming a shit show, and uh, I don't like all that. So we're dipping. That's all, that's it. I mean, there's still cars pulling up, but it's like 98 Camrys and shit boxes. So we're leaving. This badass looking GT5 or GT350 pulls up. I'm like, cool, we'll get a little racing, you know? He does just a fucking pull. It goes like fast as shit. I'm not gonna chase his ass, so that's lame. You did chase him. Well, I caught up to him. I didn't chase him. I let off. I let him calm down. Once he was cruising with normal traffic, I was trying to get back up to him. And then he took off again, and we just reeled him in, in fourth. Line up, like if you want to race, if you want to show how big your fucking balls are, line up, let's honk it down, and let's see. Going and just doing a ricer flyby is fucking lame. Throw on my hazards too, and then he threw on his as he flew past me. It's like, buddy, I already let off. I, I beat you in fourth, I have the AC fucking on. Waste. 